Today we are going to be ranking the 10 best mutations that are going to be coming into Brawl Stars. Now it's obviously a little bit harder when you face bots compared to real people, but I think I got a very good understanding for what are going to be the 10 best mutations in the game. So that being said, let's get right on into it. Now these three mutations did not make the top 10, but Pam, Sprout, and Ash have very, very good mutations. And if you unlock those, I wouldn't be upset at all. Pam's just gives unlimited ammo, which is obviously insane for a brawler with that much HP, plus a turret. Ash spawns like 10 rats, which usually just instant fills up his rage. And if you understand how Ash works, when you have full rage, Ash is like unstoppable. It's super fast. It does a crazy amount of damage. So I would highly recommend playing the Ash mutation if you get it. And then Sprouts as well is okay. It shoots two shots every time you just regularly shoot. So I mean, that's obviously pretty crazy in and of itself, but it doesn't do anything too, too crazy. So we're going to keep it out of the top 10. So the 10th best mutation that we are going to have for you guys today is Max. Now, Max has unlimited ammo, which for her is a lot better than it is for Pam. Now, although unlimited ammo, like I said, is really good for Pam, Max basically has crazy speed and she's like a machine gun. Like she actually does really good damage with unlimited ammo. I mean, obviously, and that's kind of Max's weak suit. So the fact that she's kind of able to make up for her weakness with this unlimited ammo is pretty crazy. And the fact that you guys are going to have an insane amount of speeds every single game is also just insanity. Additionally, you're going to be able to play Max on Heist because of the unlimited ammo because now it's a threat to go on safe. So just that in general also makes Max a lot better. Coming in at number 9, we have Ruffs. So his double barrel laser bounces longer and also adds one additional projectile to the normal shot. So instead of two kind of bullet things it has three now now i left rico off this list because his shots already bounce pretty far i feel like his mutation didn't really add all that much to his kit whereas the dog gets a crazy buff just the fact that you get three shots is pretty good as is because it makes you kind of like you can just walk up to tanks and auto aim them and you can kill them most of the time but on top of that now they bounce super far so honestly ruffs aka the dog is really insane with this mutation it kind of feels like the really old version of ruffs where you can auto aim the shots really fast and kill tanks from up close it's very reminiscent of that this mutation is awesome and I, if you get that i would be so happy because it's going to be so easy to push ruffs on ladder with this so coming at that number eight spot we have eve and what eve does is she spawns two hatchlings every single bullet she gets hit by. So this is kind of crazy because let's say, for example, you get hit by a full clip of a Colt shot. Colt has eight different, or sorry, six different bullets. So you're going to have 12 hatchlings spawn just from getting hit by six bullets. Now you guys might think, you know, how much damage can a hatchling really do? It's not necessarily the damage that's a threat, although it definitely is. It's the fact that it's just something additional on the map that the opponent has to shoot and waste the ammo on. Over time, this is going to be really deadly, and I do think this would be a little bit better. I thought it was going to be top three or top five, but the more I played it, the more, you know, I kind of understood that even though you get hit and you spawn these hatchlings, you, you become weak, you know, you lose your HP when you get hit. So it's good, but because the effectiveness is only when you're low HP, it's kind of, you know, a little bit weird. Coming in at number seven, we have Nita. And I mean, honestly, Nita's could easily be higher. Nita's is just insane. She spawns an additional Bruce bear. Like what? You literally have two bears for, you know, the cost of one, just one super. This is insane because on heist, you'll have double the damage on, you know, bounty or gem grab. If you're using the heal bear, you're going to have double the HP double the heals coming towards you and double the heals coming out of you towards these bears like this is actually insane and if you are not facing pierce brawlers brawlers that can shoot through the bear and hit the second bear then that other team is in a lot of trouble i think there's endless possibilities with this double bear like there's definitely some crazy things that you can do i'm totally excited for it to get into the actual game but i just know that mixed with the hypercharge this is going to be unstoppable so if you have the hypercharge and the mutation Push your Nita to rank 35. It's going to be so easy. Coming in at number six, we have Melody. And what Melody has for her mutation is she gets two additional notes that get to circle around her. Now, Melody is already a very strong brawler. And I'm thinking directly for Heist right now. Just imagine instead of three notes, which obliterates a safe, you have five. Now, I did it on the big bot. And you can just see how fast, how much damage I'm doing. I'm doing, like I don't know exactly, but it is just an absurd amount of damage. If you're on a safe... 
the game is going to be over probably in 15 seconds max now this is just insane and you mix that with the fact that her super just launches her up the map i mean melody is going to be insane with this mutation i don't know exactly where to place her because she's such a strong brawler so i could put her higher but I feel like the other mutations help the other brawlers a little bit more. And that's kind of what I'm ranking right now. So for now, Melody is going to be number six. But if you get her mutation, it is easily one of the top three brawlers probably. So that's all you push her as high as you can. Coming in at number five, we have Angelo. And what Angelo's mutation does is it adds two additional projectiles to his aim. Now, just think about the Gene Hypercharge. It's basically the exact same thing. But the cool thing about this is if you auto-aim, you're hitting all three. Like, if you go right up to someone and you hit your auto-aim button, you are doing over 10 thousand damage with full charge which is insane and you're also charging your super with just one shot which is also insane now angelo similarly to melody is a really good brawler so it's kind of weird to rank like again if you get angelo's you're gonna win almost every game it's gonna be so easy to push with angelo or melody's mutation but this mutation doesn't make angelo like this crazy crazy you know brawler because he already kind of is so I'm trying to rank the brawlers at the very top that is just taking their brawler from zero to hero. So with that being said, let's go on to the next brawler, but Angelo's is also just insanity. Next up, we have all of your favorites, Hank, and boy, oh boy, will you guys be liking this. So every time Hank gets hit for every bullet, it can literally do one single HP worth of damage. The entire super comes out. Now you guys know what the recent balances, Hank super heals Hank now. So I don't even understand what's happening. Like, is Hank just going to be like God, basically, in mutations? I don't know. But basically, what I, you know, I've kind of come to understand is you can just walk into a high safe. Like, literally walk into the safe and nobody is allowed to shoot you or else they lose the game because you're just going to do a quarter of their safe's HP by getting hit by one shot. So, I mean, if it comes down to it, you can technically just walk inside a safe, charge your shot, hit the safe. Charge your shot, hit the safe, and nobody is allowed to shoot you or else they're basically going to lose, which is really weird. Nobody is allowed to shoot you or else they're basically going to lose, which is really weird. Also, I can do it really easily against bots. I don't know how easy it's going to be against actual human beings, but you can just go inside of a brawler. Let's say Shelly. You know, Shelly, you know, the super is scary. She's trying to go right up close to you. You can go inside the Shelly and just get hit and just Shelly's gone I don't know I, I, I don't know that was a little bit of a weird example it's probably you know that's not a weird example that's a good example but you guys know what I'm saying like this is crazy the fact that every time Hank gets hit and it could be like a machine gun like if Colt's hitting you with all six of his bullets you're spraying like one two three four five six like it's insane it is so good and I know Spen's happy I know you guys are happy so have your celebrations. This is going to be our fourth best mutation. Now going into the top three, and I can't believe I have to say this brawler. I really hate this brawler. It's my least favorite brawler, or at least one of them in the game. But we have Tick. So Tick's head now spawns two additional heads. So you basically get three heads on the map every single time you get a super, which is just insane. You combine this with the hypercharge if you guys are able to get it. And I mean, Tick is actually just kind of unstoppable. It's kind of weird to say this. But Tick is actually unstoppable with the hypercharged three-head mutation. It is unreal. I honestly don't know what Brawler is going to actually be able to stop this. I'm really curious as to what happens when the mutations are out and we're able to play it. And everyone's, you know, playing. And we can see what can actually stop 7.5k worth of, you know, like explosive heads just being charged at you. And when there's the hypercharge, it's going to be faster, crazier. I don't even know. This is going to be nuts, to be honest. And you can cycle so fast your supers. Like, this is really just going to be insane. If this is the third best mutation, you guys really have no idea. These next two mutations are like game breaking. So let's get into it. Next up, we have Meg. And Meg adds two additional projectiles to her target acquired. So yeah, you know, that doesn't sound all fancy and whatnot. Look at your screen. If you hit every single bullet, you do 10,000 damage. More than 10,000 damage, which is insane because you can just walk up to someone and auto aim. It's Meg. You cannot miss. You have super crazy range. You have a big, you know, mech that has a ton of HP. You have gadgets that heal you or block shots. And you're just spraying 10,000 worth of damage like it's nothing. It's insane. The fact that this isn't number one is insanity, to be honest. It easily could be. And the buff, like, if you have any of these brawlers on this list, please push them to rank 35 in mutation modes. But especially if you have Meg Tick and what's going to be number one, if you do not push them as high as you possibly can in the time that you have these mutations... 
I don't know what to tell you because this is just free trophies. This is unstoppable. And coming in at number one, I feel like you guys knew this already. We are going to have Stu. Stu just permanently has super. Like what? I played Brawl Ball against bots and literally all I did was travel across the entire map like it was nothing. The only way you can lose your super is if you super shot the ball. But then you just hit anyone, you get your unlimited supers back. You can wall break, you can have speed, you can have the long dash, you can have heals from your dash. Like it is insane. You're just dashing around the map. Every time you dash with the correct star power you get 500 hp so you're basically unkillable because you're dashing and healing unlimited amount of times like it's just so strong it's so good and honestly i would hate it but it is so much fun i can't wait till it's in the actual game because it's just so fun to play i'm gonna have a blast playing it i'm sure you guys will too but it's also super broken so there's also you know that on top of the fun aspect and you guys might have thought that was it but coming in tied for number one we have carl so Carl's just like Sue is incredibly fun to play. It is breaking the game. Like you can literally go from one side of the map to the other, just like Stu in a matter of seconds. The super is unreal and this is gonna help out Carl a lot. Additionally, if you're using the fire gadget, you can basically bring your fire all the way across the map. It's absolutely insane and it's so easy to chain super. I think this brings Carl up to the very like highest echelon of Brawler. This mutation is just insane and again, if you get this mutation, 100% push this brawler because Carl is going to be insane. That is going to be it for the video. If you guys enjoyed, like, comment, subscribe, all that. I will be back again soon, and until then, peace.